I expected. That's <laughs> awesome. Alright guys, we just arrived at the uh, waterfall, I guess, pick up area where they uh, get to the stock, unload and then we can jump in the boat. So about two years ago, I got a message from a guy named Adam uh, about fishing down in Panama. I was down at Los Buzos and he was inquiring about coming fishing with us. And about two months later, he shows up and we got to talking and I discovered that he works at a lodge in Alaska. As soon as he said Alaska, it really piqued my interest because I've always wanted to go to Alaska and especially go fishing Alaska. So we started talking and discussing the possibility of starting a kayak fishing division at the lodge. So it's about two years later and I'm here in Alaska with Rob and Dennis and we're filming and trying to figure out if it's a good idea to bring groups down here, seeing if it's a good idea to, to fish in the kayaks and if they're effective here. They, they outfitted us with a guide, first starting at Waterfall Resort, and they gave us a guide named Sai. As soon as we said that we're with Sai, everybody started grinning, and uh, we knew we were in for, <laughs> for an inter entertaining experience. Uh, so we, we meet up with Sai, and uh, we realized that he's a Florida boy too, so we got a boat full of Florida boys in Alaska, and we're headed out to see if we can get some big halibut, big king salmon, Link cod, whatever else we can find. You're right. Wow, that's a lot of fish. Wow. Oh, <laughs> jeez. They must be catching them. Good, good. One year and then she step. Step over the tire. Step over the tire. She stepped on the tire. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, oh, is that yours? Please step over the tire, sir. Over the tire. I'm about to grab this. Thank you. I think so, right? Sure. Yeah. We're dropping off at the float plane dock. Or... Call Steve. Okay. Just as rough as it is, it might be better because you don't have bags taken to your slip. Okay. Okay. You got it. Call Steve and see where he's got these stage though. Roger. Take him loose in the front. You got Doyon Beaver right in front of you, so just keep an eye on him. You should be good. If you hug the beach, there's nothing to hit right here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi guys, we're on the boat now. Uh, we had to land a seaplane at a different location than, than they usually do apparently, because uh, it's a little bit too windy and too rough uh, at the other spot. So we just had to land a plane and dock up to a floating dock that wasn't attached to the land. And then we hopped right into the boat and we're gonna take the boat to go check in, get our fishing licenses, and then uh, pick up a little bit of gear and then head right back out onto the, onto the water. It's a super nice boat. Got really got padded gimp, uh, gunnels here. It's gonna be super comfortable. Pulling up now, this is Waterfall Resort. It is a little choppy, a lot of white caps, but not too bad. I wouldn't I would say it's not too bad. We could totally do this in the kayak too. Alright. So if you guys want to head up and get yourself checked into the jobs. Okay. Uh, And Rob Will Valdry. Mm -hmm. Oh, first one. First one. First one. That's they're down here. Mm -hmm. All right, so these are your license. Okay. So we do them that way. This is your boat. All right, and then we are finished with you guys. So Adam and Rob Will, if you want to go down to Colleen, she'll give you your boat assignment and your boat assignment. All right, they got us all suited up with the Grundens. 
Ready to go slay some fish. Now we just gotta wait on Dennis. We still haven't seen him yet. He should be here uh, any minute now, but he's got a he's got a set up himself up too. They got this whole room here filled with extra tough boots and grundins or workwear. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. They, they said they gave us a uh, Captain Sai, who's a who's apparently a character. Yeah. So that's gonna be fun. We still don't know where Dennis is at though. And he didn't fill out the information for his license, so yeah. It's gonna take some time. We'll go catch some hell of it in the meantime. <laughs> How's it going, Fowler? Pretty good. How you doing? Good. Pretty good. Good. All right, guys. This is our boat. But what we'll do now is uh, what do we all want to do? I I would like to ride you all around and find out what you can and cannot kayak. In. Yeah, that's so perfect. We got this for the next three days. Okay, yeah. And we the can ocean do that. is probably six to eight to 10 to 12. Ooh, okay. Think. Yeah, it's not where you want to do. <laughs> but that's what you're Okay, all right. <laughs> and so we're going to just go do whatever we can do. Perfect. Sounds good to me. I got some yesterday. But we'll go get King Can't complain there. When well, you only get two per trip. Okay. How many people are there? Three? There's three. So when I drop y'all off on the kayak, y'all do your own filming from the kayak, then you gotta have a guy on the boat. I, we may have a guy we, on the boat. We, yeah, we might have we might have uh, one at we least one on the boat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean however you want to do it. You got three yeah. kayaks here. Yeah. Have you seen them yet? No. Nah, yeah, yeah. Y'all do you know what they are? You know, we know what they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are y'all from? Florida. Florida. What part? Uh, I, like I, South Florida, South Florida like Southeast, it. you know, West Palm, Broward. Right, the big side. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you from the Gulf side? Uh, yeah. Born and raised in Apple, 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 it's sweet down there. Hell There's yeah. nothing wrong with y'all's side. Nah, nah, nah. I, just pissed I, go, I go there. I gotta go 80 miles for Rupert. Yeah, yeah. Whatever I want, y'all go five. <laughs> Not even. We go. Not even. A mile and a half. the beach. <laughs> Dennis made it. Hey, you got a fishing license again? Yeah. Huh? Okay. It's right here. You got a photo ID? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. This is called that local. How old are y'all? 29. 31. 31? 28. 28. 55. She's like a grandpa, right? <laughs> are you from the East Coast of Florida, too? Dirty South? Dirty South. This boat is super smooth. It's nice. First metal boat you ever been in? Uh, first, yeah. First one yeah. I've ever What's it called? Been. North River. North River, nice. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm used to paying because we've been getting beat to hell right now. <laughs> it, it, it's, so, it, it's so much different than a power grass. Oh, yeah. But I love it. Yeah, that's a kitty. I fish it right here. It's okay. Like 30 foot of water. They get silver and stuff. But they're catching them right over here. The king's going to be, when we get bait, I'll show you. Okay. The bait likes to be on the top. Yeah. All right, guys, so after thousands of miles, multiple airplane transfers, and a long boat ride, we're finally here on a boat fishing in Alaska. Today, we're just going to scout and figure out the, the fishery a little bit, get some tips from, uh, from the captain, and tomorrow's the day for, for some kayaking, though. Tomorrow we're going out, right? Tomorrow. So we're gonna see what we can catch today. Get a feel for it, hopefully catch something nice. We hook them two different ways. There's not a big guys like them. I, they might spin better on the west port, I don't know. <laughs> so funny that you gotta make them spin. Huh? Like, in Florida, you don't want anything to spin, you know? No, but I, th I think this would work <laughs> in Florida. Yeah? Oh, yeah, they, it probably would. They'd crush them. Kingfish are this. All right, the fishing. Oh. Basically, Skip you me. want this thing to spin, to rotate. So see how it's rotating? Yep. I mean, we could get a tighter spin, we ain't gonna worry about it. So you just let it down. 
Y'all gonna ask me all the time about the depth. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> if okay. it stops, real. Okay. Two things stop a bait. Fish a or fish, bottom? Fish or bottom. Yep. You hit bottom and reel. When it hits bottom, it'll stop. And all you're going to do is reel right there. See it load up a little bit. That's my bait spinning. Okay. And then I want to slow it down. Yeah. You got a lot of current. So I want to probably about that. About 20 cranks, you need to drop it back down. So basically, what your bait's doing is this. It takes you about three or four turns to get tight to the weight, two or three more to get the weight to the bait. Okay. And then after that, you're spinning the bait. Bring it up. That's all you gotta do. It's real. All right. You hit maybe 10 foot up? <laughs> Alright, coming right up. He woke up about 50 feet down probably. Oh. That's salmon. That's that's I see silver. <laughs> He's going out. Man, he's, <laughs> he's on ass. That's a stud too. First fish of the day on the, uh, the cut herring. Woo! Outside, okay. What are we in about 145 feet? Man, look at that. <laughs> Got him on, baby. <laughs> We're gonna gaff this guy or net him? Okay. All right. Here he goes. Man, these things fight pretty hard. What I try to do is I try to keep you right here. Okay. So I'm gonna circle this fish. Coming up. Get his head set up. We'll hold it right there. He's foul hook. I'm a daddy. You can get his head up, reel that weight up. King salmon. Is that your first one ever? Like yeah, yeah, caught? for sure. Yeah, never caught a salmon. Sick. Sick. How you feeling, bro? Oh, this is awesome. Super happy. First fish of the day. Keeper. Beauty. Could be clean. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, man. Sick. <laughs> Badass. Ooh, man, can't imagine like a 30, 30 plus salmon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, just got back, uh, back to land. We were out with Captain Sai and uh, he put us on the first fish of the day, which is the king salmon. First fish of the trip, only fish so far. Um, sounds like it was a little rough where they wanted to go. So we found a new spot, a spot that he's never fished before, he said. And uh, right away, got this nice nice one. We got a couple other bites, but um, this is the only one landed so far. But uh, super fun fish, way more, way, way stronger than I expected him to be. Uh, but. Can't wait to catch some more. Hi right, guys, we're walking back from the boat. This is where we're staying. They set us up in in uh, house number one, the closest one to the boat. <laughs> all of our stuff should be, should be loaded in. They took them all. They took all of our luggage on a uh, on a separate plane. All right, let's see. I think they gave me room too, man. Are we stupid? We might be stupid. Oh, 
Stuff. Wow. Man, we got a whole kitchen. We got cookies? We got cookies? We got cookies. Man, man. we got like a welcome package. No way. Guys. Wow. Welcome you. I don't deserve this. <laughs> did I die like Monday or something? I mean, you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe you did. We didn't actually make it from the boat ride. <laughs> wow. So you're telling me? I we did get good Wow, look at that. Man, we got a big TV. Beautiful view. They're really, really spoiling us, guys. We got upstairs? Yeah, dude. What? Wow, man. This is incredible. Check out the view in the backyard. All right, guys. Captain's gonna show us where the kayaks are. We're about to check them out. We haven't seen them yet. Do it now, people. Well, Coke, you're working out. Coke, you're back on the juice. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you pushed him. <laughs> He'll fight me, too. Those are cool. This place is huge. Huge. We're riding a golf cart through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 110 years old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No matter what we do, we're going to get out of the Nice. Diego's got, he's, uh, it's, Real movement is his real repair business. And he's also got the Alta rod company. He just started like two years ago. Killer. He tied those. He did this one for uh, one, of our, one of our guys. Dad's coming up, and his dad's from Boston. It's pretty dope. A little rod there with the Bruins. What? I'm not proud to. That was tough. From the kayak. That's heavy. Right. Are we going well, huh? That's for that big ass house. Yeah. And then you take a buoy. Oh, sick. I got one on the boat, basically it's like that. And this goes here. And you throw the buoy in the water. Don't leave that buoy on the boat. Oh yeah. Because when that top and you I'll go you get forward on the kayak or the whatever and you just jug that right through his gills and out the other side. Pull the stick out, and that goes down and you wait till it floats up, it'll bleed out, and you can pull it right up on the boat. Perfect. That's probably yeah. probably where to go. Oh look, you can see all the species that we have here. Oh yeah. Also, uh, there are skates, rays, and a bunch. Radfish, 
Looks like a little shark. What's that? The ratfish. But those are like super ratfish. deep, aren't they? Nah, we get them in all different. They're, they're weird looking though. English sole. So those are like flounder, right? Like yeah, Catalan. We get the sole, Dover sole. I think we got. You got a gold spotted flounder, a golden flounder. Sick. Yeah. That one right there got hung up in a net. Oh, look at that. Sweet and spicy on it's it. So flaky. Yeah. Look at this. It's, just... it's like grouper, but like way lighter. All right, like now we're recording, so everything you just said, say it again. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> it oh my god, wow. Sun's going down, it's kind of behind the mountain now, but still got a little bit of light. And uh, we heard that they have a waterfall over here not too far, so we're gonna see if we can catch that before it gets too dark. Some big logs. I wonder if those are for show or somebody using them. It's probably for show. Oh, yeah. Well, not for show, but like from the old mills. Yeah, looks like they've been there a long time. Yeah. Jeez. They have, they have even, Massive. Actually, this might be driftwood. Look, they have. You think? Look, they have uh, oysters and shit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, kind of newish looking ropes on them. Mm -hmm. They probably pulled yeah. them out. Uh, they did say that they have, they, remember they told, he told Dennis, I told Dennis to uh, watch out for logs that were floating. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to hit that with the boat, jeez. No. Uh, no wow. So that might be it. They might find them and bring them here. Yeah. <clears throat> These look freshly cut. Yeah. What is that? Part of the mill. Part, part of the old mill. That ain't working no more. Got a little bit of rust on it. Got another bear. Oh, this will be killer. He's right under the boardwalk. 
Big bear right here. All right, by the boardwalk. <laughs> you hear a crack in the wood, man. It's not good. Not a good sign. Man, I wonder what this thing was. Like a little shack? Almost looks maybe like a old houseboat, maybe? It's a lot of... It's a whole lot of wood. What do you think it is? I don't know, I feel like maybe like an old houseboat or like a barge, like a wooden barge. Cause it's got, it looks like it's got foam in it, right? But it's, it's old and it's flat on the surface. Hard to say, not sure. Guys, this beach. Amazing. So their tides are pretty similar to Panama. They, they, they have a pretty large tide difference. They said it could be up to 20 feet, which is about the same in Panama. Um, right now, I think it's pretty low. You can tell because there's, there's rocks covered in barnacles all over the beach. And uh, like seaweed and kelp kind of all over the place. You can tell the tide definitely comes all the way up there. But I guess it's probably not quite all the way low. Maybe it's still going down. But wow, completely deserted beach. There's bears all in through these woods. Saw a couple deer earlier too. Nobody here. Just Dennis over there, Rob. Nice and calm, a little bit of a breeze, but it's uh, it's also a little bit warmer than you you think. I'm pretty warm in this in this uh, somewhat light jacket, and uh, and I'm from Florida, you know, so <laughs> used to it being hot all the time, and we're totally totally good here. It's just beautiful, way way warmer than I than I would have expected, and uh, sounds like it's going to be pretty similar the whole time. We've had clear skies, just maybe a few clouds in the sky the whole time just amazing weather uh, they said it rains quite a bit but we haven't seen any rain at all and we got another flyover with the bald eagles here hi right, guys so we saw the bears we still got a little bit of sunlight left just found a sign that says the waterfall is Half a mile this way. We've probably gone already half a mile, but another half mile ain't, ain't much. Might be dark when we get back, but we kind of know where the bears are, so we might be able to avoid them. Don't worry, I think Dennis has Crocs on, so we could probably both run faster than him. They got a cool boardwalk. The boardwalk might ox might go all the way to the waterfall. Not sure yet. It sure is nice though. So the canopy kind of drastically changed. Now we got basically no cover over the head. Bunch of short, different kind of trees. So really cool. Bunch of dead stuff over here. I wonder if there was a fire or something. Don't run through the tall grass. <laughs> oh, you can see there's a game trail, game trail right here. A game trail? Game trail, yeah. For the hunt? Pretty big, huh? Look at that. Yeah. Something big's going through there. Probably deer. Or a bear. Or a bear. Long trail. So they said uh, that's like a landslide where a bunch of the land slid loose or a, maybe a big rock fell and just crushed all the trees. There's a bunch of those around. So I kept hearing about all the guys t talking about uh, 
big mosquitoes and lots of bugs and stuff here. I haven't seen one, not even a one single bug. Maybe a fly or two. Haven't seen a mosquito. Haven't been bit by anything. Um, maybe it's later. Maybe it's later in the year when it's more dark all the time, but it certainly isn't now, or it certainly just isn't here. All right, back in the old growth. Big trees. You can barely hear the uh, the waterfall. Sounds like it's pretty close up here. But this boardwalk probably took some time to build. To build. Jeez. So this resort is called the Waterfall Resort, and uh, I assume it's because of this waterfall that we're going to, so it's gotta be pretty cool. Getting louder and louder, we're getting close. So we got kind of like a staircase down here. Oh, wow. That's big. That's kind of bigger than I expected. Yeah, I love the one. More stairs, gotta keep going. Wow. Super cool. And that is the end of the boardwalk. So they said that they haven't really had much rain in the past few weeks. So we would have kind of a weak flow. But that looks like quite a bit of water, but apparently that's maybe about as low as it gets. And uh, like in the in the wintertime, it said it freezes over. And Cy said that he climbs up it when it's when it's frozen, you know, like with the ice pick and, and all that. Hi right, guys, coming back from the waterfall now. Super cool. Still still a good amount of light at out. The sun went down a while ago, but still a bit of light. It's 10 o'clock. We've been up since like 4 a.m. Um, did all kinds of stuff today. Today's been a really long day, um, but I'm not even tired yet. Still gotta, gotta look through some footage, do some organizing and getting ready for the, for the trip tomorrow, but um, I, was, I was worried about, I was wondering how the trip was gonna go with such long days, but you know, it's just so much to do, stay busy. Don't get tired, sleep well for a few hours, and then do it all again. I think that's it for this one. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And here we go. Last one on the right. That's home for the next four days. That right there looks like some Prometheus over there. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's some of the coolest clouds I've ever seen at night. Unreal looking. I've never seen anything like that. And it's like the it's like the sunset doesn't end. It's like the sun went behind the mountains like 45 minutes ago. Beautiful.